Hello everyone, this is Dragonheart and welcome to part 31 of this campaign for the Aravaki. This is where we left off last time, so I'm going to hit the assault button and we're going to fight this battle against the Astures rebels. They caught me by surprise at the end of the last episode. The good thing is we have a walled uh, town or city to defend. So that does make things interesting. We do have a second army, the Champions of Abora to assist us in this battle as well. The auto resolve is in our favour so it should be a fairly straightforward battle. Looks a lovely town as well doesn't it? Right so the army is over here as you can see. They do have one ladder so we want to destroy that ladder as quickly as possible. Best place to go is probably here. Oh my god look how many slingers we got. This is going to be fun. Right so we're going to put all the skirms. Not all of them actually. We're going to put a unit of skirmishes there. One by there. Just going to do this carefully. One by there. Skirmishers, yeah, sure. one by there, and one on there. You're all grouped up. We can have two then, well, we can have one by the tower there, and have another one. Uh, but there, oh god, that's terrible. Ah, I'll do. And then we have all of our tribesmen here. We're just going to put them on the capture point. Iberian swords could probably go. Can I get them in there? Yeah, let's put them into a defensive position. Get your shields up. Get your shields up. Get your shields up. Oh, that's more or less what I want. There we go. I'm, I'm happy to have them tucked away. Oh, my cavalry is kind of useless, to be honest with you, in this battle, but we're just going to put them there. We're going to start the battle, and if you look at the bottom right corner on the map, we can see that our reinforcements are actually going to come from behind us over here over here, there they are here they come, reinforcements of Iberia holy shit, look at this bullshit oh my god, this is beautiful look at them brave men of Iberia look at that beastly shield, holy mackerel, that is beautiful we fight for our families no, you fight for your king King Dragonheart there they come, there they come, beautiful. Is that all of them? Oh, they have even more. Excellent. Right, we're going to... Once they all come on, we're going to push up and hit them on the right flank. Oh, we have a... Oh, look at this. We have a lovely hill we can use as well. Now, this unit's going to get completely bombarded by missiles in a few seconds. They've only got one ladder, which I find a bit disturbing, but... Pick as you will. Okay, and they're all on now, so we're just going to get... Everyone grouped up. This is my my next army, my third, my second army I should say. We're just going to get them all to come here. I'm going to go on walking distance. I don't see the point in running. Although we could do with the cavalry, but just walk for now. There's no, no, no rush. We're going to get the blister up on here just bombard the shit out of them. And this unit hasn't lost any men yet. So now we are going to... Where are they? Skirmishers. Yeah, they're going to start firing upon them any second now. Oh, look at this. They're going to get wrecked by the time they get to the ladder, to the wall, to the window, to the wall. Battle group ready. And they can attack. Quick reload on them. This is where they get completely bombarded now. They're doing quite well to get the ladder this far, actually. I'm surprised. I think the in the latest patch, things got nerfed a little bit. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> They are losing quite a lot of men. Yep, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Excellent day. They've lost nearly half their men. And they haven't quite positioned the ladder yet. I like the the, the arrows at the top of the ladder as well. It's kind of, kind of cool. And i got to say, I'm using new recording software right now. I'm using uh, Dextery, which is recommended by a fellow YouTuber, The Dude. And I'm not lagging quite as much in battle using this. I'm using this right now to record. Oh, look at this kills. This is... <laughs> I'm getting quite excited guys. This is this is insane. Unfortunately they got the ladder to the gate. Can we destroy this ladder, I think? Maybe, maybe not. Holy shit, where are you going, guys? Guys, 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 guys. Get your back in the Get your get in the fucking suicidal skirmishers do my head in. Get back in, get back in. Get your rest back in. Idiot. Skirmishers. Get back there. Fall back there. 
yeah, they're gonna they're gonna get wrecked. So we wrecked that one unit, which is kind of cool. And the rest of my men just bolts in the way. We actually may, yeah, I think we're gonna take the cavalry now and actually sprint them up to the to the the gap here. We actually sprint these up as reinforcements. I can take out perhaps the cavalry or something. They don't know what they're doing, do they? The cavalry is just like spinning around in circles at the moment. Oh, is that a, actually? I think are they skirmish cavalry? They might be. No, they're not. They're just noble cavalry. Hmm, that's strange. They don't know what they're doing with the cavalry. Scutari spearmen. Don't want to use the tribesmen yet. Want to use these? Amishers. Now we attack. Aimed all attacks on the scutari spearmen. They're just going to burn our gates, or at least try to burn our gates. Here they go. Enter in bullshit. Woohoo! It should be killing my men, really, throwing fire at that, at an open gate with the, in their faces, but that's not going to be the case. This unit of Scutari Spearmen, though, are absolutely bollocks, to be honest with you. Well, there's two of them here. It's quite sensible, actually, to use two of them. Skirmishers, attack, 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 attack. Quick reload on you, Spearmen. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, shite, there are a lot of these out for... Just gonna pull a few of them away. How much damage it done to my gate? Can't even tell. Oh, boo, what happened there? Gate dam fire damage seven percent, that's okay. What the hell's this unit doing? Get your ass back in, you stupid, stupid maniac. Get back in. That's right, get back in. They're routing again. This now means they gotta send more bullshit my way. We haven't really lost anybody, have we? Have we lost anybody? Don't think we have. Uh, oh, we lost two units of skirmishers. <laughs> oh, this is why siege battles are so unfair on the enemy because they just completely get nerfed every time. They just can't cope. Right, where's my cab? My cab is here waiting. Uh, how am I going to do this? Do we flank? I think we outflank and go for the general, I think. Riders forward! Ballista. We're actually going to get our ballista crew to to start attacking as well. Get them in range. They don't stand a chance in this battle, though. This is this is kind of unfair. <laughs> I almost pity the the AI for being so stupid in siege battles. They might actually get through my gates, that's the worrying part. Well, I say worrying part, it's probably not. Oh my god. Oh, they were going to attack me then. We'll attack the Iberian cavalry over here instead. Wheel around. Oh, they cut off, they cut off. Frenzy charge. Boom! Wrecked. Beasts of Iberia. And they're going to send all the rest of the cavalry in. I don't know why I say to that, it's disengage. Let's pull them over here. We have, we have the units to to worry them I think fire in the hole run some spearmen down there I'll run a couple of units down here actually disengage disengage good good good, good. this is good this is good right this this unit's buggered as well arrow towers doing a lot of damage for me aim for the skirmishers now quick reload same with you, quick reload. Warriors already. What a battle. What are they shooting at over here? Oh, they're shooting the enemy horses. That's kind of cool. Oh, we outnumbered. Holy shit, we outnumbered over here. That's okay, guys, though. That is. That is okay, indeed. We're going to bring our cavalry back. And we're going to attack them with all this bullshit. <laughs> oh, man. An evil bastard. Yeah, I'll sacrifice this unit of cavalry just to deal with, just to hold these guys up. We'll get both units of ballista to attack. And a quick reload as well, we can aim for the cavalry. Oh, and they're going to send more bullshit my way. Oh, they're actually doing quite a bit of damage with their uh, javelins. How much damage? We have 18% damage, that's, that's manageable. I'm looking at my skirmishers, I think we have a couple of units remaining. Which we can sling them at. Right, 
Right, I think we now go for Slingers can march up there. Charge them in. And we're gonna charge the calf with them. We'll kill them all. My ballista crew. Aim for the calf over there. Yeah, that's a good idea. Aim for the calf over there, should be good. Oh, and you guys can all move up. I'm gonna bring up to here for now. Ballista. Get in there. I'll bring the slingers up. I'll bring the slingers up to try and pepper the enemy, outflank them maybe. And they are doing a bit of damage to my gatehouse now. 34% damage. Not good at all. But they are going to be weak when they come through. And I think I'm just going <laughs> to... Just going to blob them to death. bit of blobbing. Just blob. Drives men. Yeah, that's a good idea. Just blob them to death. Oh, this is good. Beautiful, beautiful stuff over here. Kill them all. Is it, where's the general? Have we fought the general? Oh, nope, we haven't. He's over there. Right, ballista crew. Aim for the general, please. If you may. Bring all that up. Bring these guys up as well. This is going to be fairly routine now. I shouldn't have probably gone up here. Can we go down there, I wonder, with these guys? Oh, it looks like we can go down here. That's okay. I was worried because I, I realised halfway through that order that I could have probably gone around here rather than go up here. But it's okay. Oh, shit. Swift horseman, indeed. Let's bring the cavalry there. Let's bring the slingers forward. Doing a ton of damage to them anyway. 47% fire damage, that's all they've done so far. I can just camp in my behind my walls and leave them all to die. <laughs> we hunger for blood and battle. Reminds me of the Targaryen uh, motto Fire and Blood. We are fire and blood indeed. 61 general slingers disengage and attack the general now my ballista crew can now aim for their guerrilla warriors they're quite quite cool units actually guerrilla warriors can flank around with these units now these guys are completely out of touch I think in this battle I'm gonna fast forward this a little bit guys play this on triple speed I know it won't be perfect on triple speed but I think it's probably for the best. Oop, we can put Frenzy on with this unit. We outnumber them. We're going to completely decimate them in a second. Get in there. Flank around with these three. Aim for the Gorilla Warriors there. General's put up a decent fight. Left my Ballista crew was a little bit exposed over here. Let's have a go at, at fighting on triple speed with Ballista. Maybe my shot will improve. Or maybe not. <laughs> Triple speed ballista firing now. Ooh. Ooh, nearly. Nearly, nearly, nearly. And the general's starting to route now. Surely this unit's going to route. Let's bring these three around. They can flank for me. They can attack the guerrilla warriors over there. Frenzy. And we have some intimidation. Warcry, Inspire, and um, we're done, end battle. So there we go, just fast forward to that last minute or two because it would have been quite boring. We we only lost 825, they lost nearly 2000. Battle duration 12 minutes 51. As you can see, my slingers get most of the kills. The easiest thing to do in this game is just to put loads of slingers on the walls, and there we go, we can release the captives, I think. They are going to be on the campaign map, but that's not a problem. And we're going to go there quickly just to double check things. Where are we? Over here. Yeah, we can attack them with this army. 
Charge! Kill them all! Ah, oh, don't run away, you bah! Oh, I hate when they do that. You can't even do the old trick where you bring a general out and attack because of this. And um, we can actually, you've got a bit of money to spend. Look at that, over 3,000. That's quite uh, quite cool, actually. Oh, public order squalor. I need to convert the populace, I think. What's our Iberian? Oh, it is. It is the dominant culture, Iberian culture. Uh, don't want that at the moment. Anyway, we want to take Tolosa back. That's the the aim. I could get some mercenaries. I probably need mercenaries because our infantry is all to pot at the moment. I don't know what they have as well there. Okay, we're gonna have to get some mercenaries with the money. I think we don't have any cavalry. So first things first, we are gonna get some. Uh, what do we want? We want some Gallic light horse. Mercenary noble cav. We could do some noble cav. Yeah, we we'll get some three units of noble cav. Oh, we're gonna get some mercenary hoplites as well, because why not? And then we're gonna go out to normal stance and attack them. What? What the hell? Ah, oh, bloody agent spam, you bastard! Fucking agents doing this game. I hate it when that happens. Okay, so we can't attack them there for this turn. And I just spent a shitload of money on mercenaries. <laughs> If I'd known that, I could bring this army out maybe, but no. Nah. I need to get some agents. I think that's what I should have done probably earlier in this campaign is get more agents. Yeah, it would have been for the best probably. Just going to quickly check some of these places. I think we're okay. End turn in that case. Oh, I hate it when that happens. It's so irritating. Just when you think, oh, I can finally attack, we've been agent spammed, and as is expected, they've attacked us. And how have they got more or less full strength? That's kind of bollocks, to be honest. And they've attacked me. Uh, I think I might retreat from this one. And retreat so they haven't got the reinforcements. They shouldn't have the reinforcements there. How have they got the reinforcements there? I didn't have the reinforcements when I. Oh my god, they've only got four reinforcements this time though. Oh, okay, we'll fight this one. I shall see you on the battle map. Hello and welcome back to the battlefield. I don't know how we're going to do this, but we're going to try and find a way to do it. As Hannibal once famously said, I will find a way or make one, and that is what I plan to do uh, in this battlefield. And I'm going to get all my ballistas to aim for these cavalry because they're going to be wrecking us otherwise. Oh, I'll be good if it hits. It looks really good. Oh, please. Damn it. Yes, we got. We got a hit, I think. Be wise if I try to attack them now with, with what's remaining. 15 horses? Surely they can't. Take us out from there. Ballista. Surely. Damn it. My aim is terrible. Five horses remaining. Surely we got to take out the horses. I'm happy to bring the line minus these two forward to here. I've actually flanked around. I'm going to try and flank a bit nearer to the general at least. And now my ballista can all focus on going back here. These two can now go there. I might have the general worried here. I'm going to get one unit of ballista to aim on that one unit of skirmishers, one to aim on the other unit of skirmishers and the rest just to focus on the the men there. Cavalry is going to turn for the general I think. The general is kind of uh, ballista. Oh my god look at this bullshit behind me. Holy crap. Didn't even realize they were there until just now. That's the reinforcements. This is why I hate because they were mine to, for the taking uh, with my my secondary army, which wasn't in range. But for some reason, this, these guys were in range. I don't know whether it's because they had a spy or a or an agent or something. But I have to turn the army around. We're going to lock group them. Going to attack. Oh, they got spear nobles as well. That's not good. My men. Oh, we're in. Uh oh. Whoopsie. <laughs> turn and attack that way. Oh, this is dangerous. This is dangerous as hell, this is. But 
just uh, crap, 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 crap. Holy mackerel, holy mackerel. Valleys, my blisters is all over the place. My mercenaries are going to have to hold up for as long as possible. Big massive mosh pit in the centre there. Scoot hardy spearman. Oh my god, we're losing out. That's what I didn't want. Just didn't want this. This is horrible, horrible, horrible. Meow. Boost kill. Yes. Fuck yeah, we killed. And again. Back in we go. Fire. No. You bala. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Idiots. In again. Fire. Kill. Fuck yeah. And again. In for another one. Fire. Oh, in the throat. Right, in the throat. We're killing lots of men in the in over here. Frenzy charge. General, get your ass going, man. Get your ass going, man. Oh my god, this is horrible. Quick reload. We're doing we're doing okay. We are doing quite okay, but I don't know if we can do this. Not again get a kill on the general, that's what we want. Come on, we chain routing them by here. The reinforcements is what's is what's gonna win this for them. I'm gonna drag two of these off. Fire, fire, fire. Oh my god, my god, my god. Why aren't we firing? This is not good. Oh my god, that's terrible. Oh my god, that's not good. Warriors are ready for battle. I think we just dropped one on his head then. That's one way to do it, I suppose. Noble horse. Hoplit days. But yeah, actually, balance of power is against us. 108. Help out there. Come on, rout the fucking general. Turn and fire. And you turn and fire. Oh, they've all come back. This is not good. My cat. We have no infantry <laughs> apart from my general. <laughs> well, one unit of Scutari spearmen. They took out all the mercenary hop-like units. I needed them. And this just shows how bollocks the fucking campaign map can be because they were definitely there. Those reinforcements. Oh, my blisters in the way as well. I think. I have to kill my own men. <laughs> that was quite funny. I have to kill some of our own men, I think. Just to try and route these over here. Come on. Come back to me, man. Come back to me. There we go. Fire in the hole. In the hole. Oh, that's destroyed. Yeah, I got another kill. Ah, oh, we've had this. We've had it. A few kills. Ah, irritating when that happens. And there we go, end of battle. Costly enemy victory. I'm afraid. Damn it, I hate it when that happens. But the campaign map screwed me over, I think. I think they screwed me over. Gallic Confederation. Valiant defeat. Oh, that's where the reinforcements were. I didn't see them. Ah, shit. What have they got? Probably too much for me to kill. I'm going to have to auto resolve this. Don't stand a chance. That's the end of that army, I'm afraid. Damn it! Ah, hate it when that happens. Burdigala is there for the taking, I think. Uh oh, oh, Talos is un unguarded now. It looks like they're gonna go for Emporia. I, I do have an army there. Ah, oh, look at them. Right, sabotage. Army destroyed, of course. This army can now attack. Oh, don't run away from me, please don't run. I hate it when they run. Okay, I'm just gonna auto resolve this because it's straightforward. Go for an aggressive stance. Just try and. There we go. Rebels dealt with. That helps. This army can now be pushed forward to help with the front lines, release the captives. Yeah, public order's okay in Astorica now that we dealt with the rebels, so 
This army can now be pushed forward. Another big army which can go all the way into Force March and can go to Emporia, I think. Yeah, and while they go there in Force March, we can do some upgrading. So, what we want morale for all units. Oh, look at all this but, uh, uh, morale. Enemy units, we're on that one. Reduce the morale of enemy. Their army, is, their army from Tolosa, the main army, comes south to Emporiae. I'll allow them to attack because we have a wall, of course, like we proved in the first battle in this episode. Plus I have some units here, which I could recruit. I got over 4,000 income now, so our income is looking pretty healthy. And our food is looking pretty healthy. It's just about trying to overwhelm the enemy now with armies and units and stuff. This army in Burdigala, what can we recruit here? We can get some... A couple of scorpions. And we want some... Scutari. We're going to just actually take out these scorpions. Just going to get loads of Scutari. There we go. That's fine for that. So what's going to happen in Burdigala? Meanwhile, we have a uh, this army which we could probably do with. Uh, I think if they attack my wars, we want to have javelinmen and slingers. So let's see. Da -da -da -da. Iberian skirmishes, I think would be fine there. But I'm going to end the episode here. I've been Dragonheart. Hope you've all enjoyed. Until next time, goodbye.